of the commanding officer. The rest will not be able to offer any resistance. First, we have to eliminate these two without making any noise. I can climb up to the wires and swing along them to cross to the other side. Hey Switchheads, welcome back. My name's Kanan and this is my review for Commandos 2, the HD remaster. And this is going to be another what you need to know, not going into every single detail as that will take forever reviews. And it's worth noting that this is a remaster, not a remaking of Commandos 2. Okay, so gameplay without going into every single mechanic that there is, is basically you have a squad and rather than running and gunning, you'll be using tactics and the old shenogun to work out how to actually get past enemies and finish your tasks. Now I played the original back in the day and I seem to remember it controlling a hell of a lot easier but that said the, the remaster controls that they've done so that you can use it with an actual controller and not a mouse and keyboard is okay it's serviceable it's not too bad it's not the greatest but it's not too bad i died a few times to start with i'll try and show my first time playing on the screen and it did take me a little bit to actually get drink. into it again as i found it a little bit fiddly the camera was i don't know everything seems a little harder than i actually remember to actually do everything now i think old school people could probably get to used to these controls and also the slower pace of the game but i think some of the new gamers of nowadays will probably may struggle with this game and i think it's worth noting that if you are struggling with it slow down you, you can't just run and gun you can't just go in on the fly now you'll have different characters to control or with different abilities and it's worth also noting that you can knock characters out tie them up there's so many different mechanics within this game i have to admit i haven't got too far into the actual nintendo switch version but it seems a very well it's a remaster let's put it that way so it's pretty well intact the graphical update to the game is ugh, from what i can remember it does look a little bit prettier but the graphics are such that it's not really that noticeable immensely if that makes sense sound wise is pretty darn awesome as if you've played games like this where most of the characters don't talk or anything this does this has got a lovely intro lovely still but very interesting and voiced cutscenes and your characters talk whilst you actually use them as well so in that respect it's quite impressive just to have that sort of thing to add to the atmosphere whilst you're playing it so did i have fun playing it was the nostalgia misguided no i did have fun playing it it is a fun game it did take a hell of a lot to get used to the controls and yes. playing it again slowing down that everything's so fast nowadays it's that slowing of everything down don't run in don't go my first thought was like just go in and try and take everything out you can't do that this is a slow game a tactical game you're on missions you're meant to be stealthy if you need to go somewhere you need to make sure that no one's in your way you're not in their line of vision which you can see from cones brought out from their body and basically it's it's avoiding them whilst trying to get you know to them to take them down take them out and then you can tie them up pick them up stick them somewhere so that no one can see and then you can steal their uniforms off and dress up and then go out and well act like one of them <laughs> so yes i did have fun playing it and i will go back and play more of it the nostalgia was there to a point i think it's very very difficult to play on the console if i had to play it i'd play it on the pc to be honest i think that side of it didn't translate too well the use of the controllers is good is fine and there's like a hint uh, system that you can press at any time and it will give you hints on how to do things within the game and that's great it's just it just feels a little bit fiddly to me but again the core gameplay is there and it's excellent like it used to be uh, as i said before new players may find this difficult but i think there is a good game for new and old players alike and even players that have played it before like myself and so i rate games out of five and i'm going to give commandos 2 remastered a three out of five 
and that's above average game and it would get more if the camera was a little bit better and I don't know how they could have done the controls but if the controls were a little bit better as well the camera just lets you move slightly it, it's not enough I wish I could like turn the camera around and see in different angles but it just doesn't let you do that which is a shame and as I said I believe they're called millenniums they will struggle with this game not because they're stupid but because everything's so fast paced nowadays and this is definitely not a game that you run in shoot everything and run out there are missions there are objectives and each of them will entail you to use stealth and a little bit of intelligence and tactics and for anyone that enjoys that sort of thing i think this is well worth the price asked other players i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway are you going to be picking this game up or are you gonna you know not bother are you a millennium do you think you have what it takes to be stealthy and slow yourself down no phones within this war sunny jim or do you remember the original are you going to pick it up because of that? If so, and you play it, let me know what you think down below. Did you actually enjoy it again? Does the nostalgia still last? And is it the same game that you remember? Am I right or am I wrong, basically? Anyway, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, that would be doing the channel immense favours and become a member of the Switchhead family. And until next time, life is better when we all switch together.